So welcome back to a brand new episode of Cleveland Cavaliers, my GM modes. Right now we're 1-0, and fun 1-0 obviously, 78 team cam, 78 fan interest, and we're first in the Eastern Conference and first in the Central Division as always. So we just capped off that one, that one win against the Pistons, 100-76. Kyrie had a fantastic game as always, double-double. Ben Simmons played good, LeBron played good, everyone played good, including Jason Tatum, first game as a pro and he got 7 points. So bravo to him. And so we got to go look at the power rankings and stuff to start off the season. We did sim one game, but it doesn't really matter. So NBA.com's we're in 30th place, but I think that's a glitch. So I'm going to say we're in first. 2K's ratings were first, and Mark Spears were first. And all those, Golden State or San Antonio, have been first or second. So we're in pretty good standings for at least the power rankings. And GM power rankings number one, as always. Maybe you can get three in a row, three Pete. I could do that, but last year we had a 64 and 18 record. We won the championship as always, back-to-back -back championships. So we gotta try and make a three-peat this season. Conference, obviously Atlanta has one win, and the rest lost. Milwaukee and Detroit. So we gotta check out some of the pricing stuff. Right now we're losing 14 million dollars, but that's because it's the beginning of the season. We're gonna gain money throughout the season. I'm probably gonna, not gonna change the ticket prices right now, and just because. It's been at 65, and we've gained money from it being at 65. Plus, if you look at our pricing graphs, we had 84% attendance last game, so it's not a sellout, but it's fine. It's good numbers for a team. We should be selling out games, but who cares? Jersey sales. LeBron's number one. Uh, where's La? I mean, not Lowry. Kyrie. Kyrie sitting in ninth place. Just ahead of Eric Bledsoe and Blake Griffin and Kevin Love. And DeMar is sitting, sitting comfortably in fourth, 14th place. Ahead of Kyle Lowry and Amorcus Cousins and Andre Drummond. Anyone else? Oh, there's Draymond Green. Lakers, 22nd in jersey sales. We had to check with the Lakers, though. They've been doing a good job because in the latest transactions, they've been trying to actually get some players. Wait, does it show the transactions? Down here it does. But it looks like... Where are they? Pistons traded Brandon Jennings to the Lakers for Jordan Clarkson. Not too bad of a trade. I don't know why they traded for a point guard, but because they have D'Angelo Russell, but I'm guessing he's a backup point guard. And Thunder traded J.J. Hickson to the Raptors for Tyler Johnson. I don't know if that's a good trade or not, but oh well. Wizards moved Mike Scott to the Spurs for Tyler Hansborough. And 76ers trade Joel Embiid to the Trailblazers for Alan Crabb. I don't know who Alan Crabb is, but we'll go check him out. So Trailblazers... Or not chill blazers, uh, uh, 76ers, sorry. Go over there. Where's Alan Crabb? 74 overall, 25 years old. Do they have any small forwards starting? They have Robert Covington. They have too many small forwards that are good and young. So I don't know what they're doing with that one. I'm just guessing they're moving center depth because they had way too many centers. They had Nerlens Noel, Jalil Okafor, and obviously Joel Embiid, but not anymore. So, 76ers, they got a good player, but he doesn't have that. I mean, not 76ers. Trailblazers got a good player, but he doesn't have that much potential on him. That's the only reason why I don't really like the move. But it was a steal, though. 80 overall for a 73. It's a good deal. Besides, I'm pretty sure the Trailblazers need a center because ever since Mar LaMarcus Aldridge... Wait, they, they got Nerlens Noel, too. What kind of a trade was this? They got Nerlens and Embiid from the 76ers, unless they signed Nerlens. Did they sign him? I swear they did. Yeah, I got signed. Okay. I was wondering why, how Nerlens ended up on there. But two former 76ers on the Trailblazers roster. I don't know if it's a good thing, but good bright prospects, I'm guessing. But it doesn't make sense why they have two centers, though. They're in the same boat the 76ers were with both of them. Who cares? We're talking about our us, our team now. But 70, I mean, we'll go back to the topic of the Lakers. They've been doing well, they, their rebuild. They got Draymond Green from us, that second overall pick, which would have been Jason Tatum. And do they have a small forward at all? Actually, that would have helped them out, but Draymond could play small forward if they wanted to. Because they do have uh, Julius Randle, who could play center. But Draymond could play small forward, so he put Draymond at small forward. They got D'Angelo Russell, out, by the way. Uh, Brooke Lopez. Brandon Jennings, Lou Williams, good sixth man. And yeah, they just have a good overall team. Plus, they signed Timothy Mozgov, good bench center. Four million for a guy who's dependable off the bench. 
He was good for us, but he's just too much money. He's making six million. Had to dump him in order to get LeBron signed and Rudy Gobert signed. Plus, we got that six-man Patrick Mills now, which is really good. But on our topic, we do. Ben Simmons is now a starter. He's starting at small forward. LeBron's starting at power because we have no room at small forward anymore. Jason Tatum is our new sixth man. Rudy Gobert is obviously obviously starting at center. Kyrie starting at point guard, and Demar starting at shooting guard. Patrick Mills, our seventh man, and then there's Kevin Looney, Darren Hiller, Joe Harris, and Shane Larkin. These two guys, I have no idea who they are. They just the CPU to sign them. But our oldest player this year is gonna be this peroantic guy, and then LeBron James at 32 years old. So LeBron's getting up there. He's getting older. He's not not doing as well as he did last year, but or two years ago. Last year's his worst year statistically in a long time. But that's because he had such of a good such a good supporting cast around him, like. Kyrie, DeMar, Ben Simmons, Rudy Gobert defensively, and Draymond Green when he's hitting threes and not complaining. But roster looks good for the season. I don't think we need to trade anybody because last at the offseason video at the end, I went and I changed Kevin Looney to center. It dropped his overall by two, but I went and I changed him back to small to power forward because he's better that way. Otherwise, that's all the moves, all the stuff I did. For this season in preparation so we're looking good contract extensions two undecided guys and, and Jeremy Grant and Darren Hillard we should be able to get these guys signed they're young and they're good good bench players but the only problem is though is they want they probably want to raise they're making a million but they're playing better than a million so I'm guessing we're gonna have to get rid of a few players I don't know how this is gonna balance out but we're gonna be behind under the sal over the salary cap when it comes to next season and I doubt there's going to be good free agents next year because, actually, there might be. I don't really know. If you go on the team intel, some players, there's like James Harden, Derek Favors, Paul George. But all those guys are going to get re-signed, guaranteed. And DeMarcus Cousins, LaMarcus Aldridge, I don't know about him, but I'm pretty sure James Harden is going to get re-signed. Same with Isaiah Thomas. The Celtics have tons of money because they're rebuilding. And, yeah, none of these guys are going to be free agents if you're wondering. And we don't have any major free agents either, which is really good. Don't have to sign anybody, not pressure to. I think we have like a few one-year deals. Yeah, two, only four or two major ones that we actually use, two players we actually use on one-year deals. But otherwise, our roster looks really good. But one thing we got to do before simming the next few games is going to player training. One man we haven't set up his training for is Jason Tatum, the new rookie in town. Ben Simmons was our rookie last year. He's doing really well right now, 85 overall. But we need to work on Jason Tatum this year. Get him to get, be sixth man of the year and do what Ben Simmons did and be rookie of the year. I don't think there's really much challenge in the entire... Wait, actually, no. He's got Harry Giles as his challenger for sixth man of the year. I mean, not sixth man of the year. Uh, rookie of the year. But we got to go set up his, his training. So physical. He's a fast player. I'm pretty sure he just needs to work on his shot. So outside scoring will be his main one. But tactical. We should probably... We can't change this player type thing, can we? Can only be one? Yeah, it can only be one. Okay. So we're going to have to go change just what the default things are. So what should we do? He's a small forward coming off the bench. I'm guessing we should probably... Probably stick the team on team chemistry right now, actually. We'll leave it at tactical. Fundamental. What do we have? Ball control. What does he have for ball control? Is he pretty good at that? Where is his ball control? Not tendencies. Attributes. Ball control. Good drawing fouls. Offensive consistency, probably. If that's on there. I doubt it's on there because I think it's a, a uh, tactical. Actually, no, shot contest. That should be good. I don't know if it's a good idea, but that should be good. Okay, so I don't know if I, really, I should really stick the entire team on their main things. Maybe I'll leave the starters on their, their main ones just because they can get better. Wait, Kyrie's stuck on team chemistry. Ben Simmons is on defensive consistency. Any other, te any other players? Team chemistry. So everybody except Rudy and Ben are on Team Chemistry. Because I think the Team 1 right now is Team Chemistry because that's what we need. Wait, it's Defensive Consistency. There you go, Team Chem. 
player things. Okay, I think, yeah, we'll just go and develop the team cam for the first half of the season. Make sure it gets all good. But let's go check out Rookie Report. See you, Jason Tatum has to battle for Rookie of the Year. So he's got Harry Giles, Darren Fox. Celtics have a lot of rookies. Uh, Idris Abeo, Kobe Simmons, Thomas Bryant, who's drafted third overall. He might be a bust. I know I was saying that he is a bust, but he's still got potential to be good. Like, that B- minus could easily rise to a B plus in a matter of time. But is there any other players? There's Terrence Ferguson. Nuggets have a few rookies. I should just go. Is there any way to go check on there? Actually, no, it might be too early to tell. I really don't know. All I know is that Harry Giles is his number one competitor. And I'm pretty sure Harry Giles is starting there in Minnes in uh, Milwaukee. Because they don't really have too good of a squad over there. There's the Bucks. There they are. Uh, do they have... Wait, is he... he's not part of Milwaukee. He's part of the Celtics. What am I thinking? So the Celtics have tons of good players on here. Really good players. So point guard, who do they have? Isaiah Thomas. Shooting guard. Got nobody. Unless they convert one of their point guards to a shooting guard. Which I'm pretty sure they will do. Darren Fox. But small forwards, they got Harry Guile. Wait, not Harry Giles. Brandon Ingham. Another 20 year old. At power forward, they got Harry Kyle, 71 overall, 21 years old. And at center, they got Scalabis here. So they have a young squad. I'm guessing it's the youngest in the NBA. But they're going to be an underdog this season. They're going to surprise everyone and make the playoffs, I'm guessing. But let's. I guess we've covered everything to look at. Wait, first we'll check out draft or big boards. So right now, it's going first overall. It looks like it might be a center. DeAndre Ayton, center from Arizona. We have no intel on him right now because we have or Scud hasn't scudded him yet, but let's just keep on going. Michael Porter Jr., second overall small forward from Missouri. John Petty, shooting guard from Kentucky. Trayvon Duvall, point guard from Kansas. Wendell Carter, power forward from Duke. Miles Bridges, small forward from Michigan State. Isaiah Whitehead, shooting guard from Saint Satan Hall, or Seton Hall. Uh, what is that name? J Jashon Egosto? Augusto? I don't know how to say that. I'll call him J.A. Point guard from UCLA. T.J. Leaf, power forward from California. Cameron Chapman, small forward with Michigan. Are they part of the Kardashians? Cameron with a K? Oh well. Let's, I guess we've covered everything. One thing I gotta talk about. Team relocation. Last year I didn't relocate if you, wonder, if you saw or noticed anything. I didn't relocate or submit the papers. It was because facilities they weren't good enough they're a 3.2 or 3.3 so I went before this video I recorded this video and I went and I basically improved all the facilities and now we're at a 5.4 and only one team denies us and that's the Washington Wizards because they didn't want to they were in their area we're around the Washington area they don't want any co competition uh, competition but one good one plus, one plus about older, he's unhappy about the decision to move a team in my team's general area. Not sure about fan interest. He does love the pan, the plans to have top notch luxury facilities in your new t stadium plans, and he likes our general facilities. So the only reason why he hates us is because we're in his general area, and I understand that. You don't want competition because the Wizards aren't that good on here. I guess they're okay, but oh well. So. I'm probably going to submit those papers in a few days. I'm not, I'm for sure going to submit it this year. Don't worry. But let's go and simulate because nobody's mad at me right now. I'm sure there's going to be some, someone angry in a few days. But anyway, that was a season, off season kind of recap thing. I don't know. But preparation to start the season. So we're facing the 76ers on the road. We got to beat them. We got to beat them. And we lose to them 102 to 90. Wow. But anyway, DeMar, 26 points, 3 rebounds, 4 assists, 1 steal. LeBron, 21 points, 5 rebounds, 4 assists, 3 steals. Patrick Mills, 14 points, 3 rebounds, 2 assists. Jason Tatum, 12 points, 6 rebounds, 7 assists, 1 steal, 2 blocks. Kyrie Irving, only 17 minutes. What are they doing? Oh, well, 7 minutes, 1 rebound, 2 assists, 2 steals, 1 block. I think it's based on because he didn't play that well, so he must have started off pretty badly, but... Ben Simmons, 5 points, 8 rebounds, 6 assists, 2 blocks. He probably played bad too because he only had 19 minutes. 
Rudy Gobert, 2 points, 14 rebounds, 1 assist, 1 steal, 1 block. So Rudy Gobert is off to his rebounding start he did last year. 14 rebounds in the day, pretty good. 76ers, Jalil Okafor, 33 points, 20 rebounds, 6 assists, 1 steal, 2 blocks. Insanely good game from him, holy crap. But Shabazz, 19 points, 6 rebounds, 1 assist. Jamal Murray, 14 points, 5 rebounds, 2 assists, and that's basically about it. So we got schooled by the 76ers. It's sad to say that, but we did. We got to work off that and get better. Can't, can't be great all the time. Got to be bad every once in a while. Come on, two in a row, 111-106 final. Milwaukee. Guys, we got to play better. We can't lose two in a row. But DeMar, 20 points, 4 rebounds, 4 assists, 1 block. LeBron, 19 points, 9 rebounds, 6 assists, 2 blocks. Jason Tatum, 16 points, 6 rebounds, 3 assists, 2 blocks. Rudy Gobert, 13 points, 10 rebounds for double-double and 1 assist. Ben Simmons, 10 points, 9 rebounds, 2 blocks. Patrick Mills, 9 points. Er Kyrie Irving, 9 points, 1 rebound, 11 assists, 6 steals. 3 for 12 shooting, though. Kyrie, you got to be more consistent. That's why we lost. Our best players are not performing well. Milwaukee, Greg Monroe, 20 points, 10 rebounds, 4 assists. Double double. Jabari Parker, 19 points, 6 rebounds, 6 assists, 3 steals. And Derrick Rose, newest buck, 16 points, 3 rebounds, 9 assists, 2 steals, 1 block. So back to back losses. What are we doing wrong? That's the question. So we'll go check out our game plan. Everyone's on fire somehow, even though we're playing like trash. That's a little weird, but okay. I'll take it. So Kyrie is playing 34 minutes. I think DeMar should get more minutes. He's playing well. So we'll relegate Patrick. Oh, Patrick Mills playing well too. Kevin Looney, uh, take down your minutes. Take down Darren Hillard's and Joe Harris. And we'll add Demar some minutes because he's good. And that's pretty good. Okay, so maybe by giving minutes to Demar, we'll play better. But right now we're 11th in the conference. That's not good. We got to be first. But then again, you can't win all the time. You got to have some slow start to your season. Have a little adversity to work off of, but we're facing uh, Washington at home. We gotta beat him here. Kevin Love is here. We gotta beat him. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. There we go. 118, 116 final. Just made that comeback. But LeBron, 28 points, nine rebounds, seven assists, one steal, zero blocks. Kyrie, 27 points, one rebound, six assists, four steals, one block. Jason Tatum, 22 points, three rebounds, one block. Career game from Jason Tatum. Good job. DeMar, 21 points, 3 rebounds, 6 assists, 1 steal. Ben Simmons, 8 points, 8 rebounds, 2 assists, 3 blocks. 1 for 8 shooting. 0 for 4 from the free throw. I mean, 3 point line. Damn, Ben, you can't play too well. But Patrick Mill, 6 points. Rudy Gobert, 3 points, 16 rebounds, 3 assists, 4 blocks. I think that's the reason why we won. 9 offensive rebounds on the day for Rudy Gobert. Good job. So, we're good off the glass. We're good scoring. That's why we made our comeback. But Kevin Love, 23 points, 10 rebounds, 1 assist, 2 steals, double-double. John Wall, 22 points, 4 rebounds, 3 assists, 1 steal, 2 blocks. Rubion's Crooks? Damn, he's playing well. 17 points, 3 rebounds, 1 assist, 3 steals, 1 block. Tim Hardaway, 12 points. JJ Brea, 10 points. So, we finally win against the, the uh, Washington Wizards. We're 2-2 two two in the season. We got a break out of 500 right now. Come on. We got to beat the Hornets. Come on. Come on. There we go. 125 to 101 final. Kyrie, first big game of the season. 34 points, 2 rebounds, 8 assists, 4 steals. Uh, DeMar, 27 points, 2 rebounds, 7 assists, 1 steal. LeBron James, 24 points, 3 rebounds, 6 assists, 1 steal, 1 block. Jason Tatum, 18 points, 10 rebounds, 4 assists, 1 steal, double-double. Patrick Mills, 9 points, 2 rebounds. 4 assists, 1 steal. Ben Simmons, seven, 7 points, 11 assists, 2 blocks. I mean, 2 assists, 2 steals, 1 block. Not too bad, but 0 for 5 from the 3-point line. Come on, Ben. Please don't take 3-pointers. You're horrible at them. Kevin Looney, 3 points, 1 rebound, 1 assist, and that's basically about it. Wait, Rudy Gobert, 2 points, 12 rebounds on the day. So not too bad. Ben Simmons got 4 offensive rebounds. Jason Tatum, 5. That's impressive for a small forward. But Charlotte, Al Jefferson, 18 points. Dante Montiunas, 18 points. Nick Batum, 15. Michael Kigilkas, 13. And Avery Bradley, 12 points on the day. But not enough. 
Won two in a row, 82 team cam, 80 fan interest, third in the conference, second in the division. So I'll sim one more game against the Minnesota Timberwolves, and we'll probably end it off right there. But we're facing Carl Anthony Towns, the cat, Andrew Wiggins, Zach Levine. I think, Sh yeah, Shabazz is gone. But Jeremy Grant's voice concerns about not getting, a getting enough minutes. How hard is it to manage all the egos of the players? I'm not commenting on that. It's not your business. And they don't have egos. They just want to play. Darren Hillard is mad, though. Let's check this out. Darren Hillard is upset the fact... Oh, wait. He just wants to sign here. Okay. Uh, should we guarantee him anything? I don't know if I really should. Well, he's a good player. You gotta, you gotta respect that. He is a good player. I thought for sure Dar Darren Hillard would be nobody. I mean, just trade him away. But he's been playing really well off the bench. So, I guess we'll promise him an extension. He's pretty good. Good bench player. He doesn't complain. Which is that what I like in a bench player. Contract extensions will resign. 24 years old too. 73 overall. Not too bad. I think he's a shooting guard too. So just in case Joe Harris isn't pan out, we've got a backup plan in Darren. So, how much money does he want? Two years, two point... Is it 2.6? 2.5? Something like that. Will he take a pay cut? Oh, he likes that financial security though. That's not good. How about two years? I don't want to have one year deal again. Two years... 4.5 million? We're giving you two years here. Gotta work with this. Are you kidding me? He wants more money. Come on, Darren. Work with us here. One's 2.4. I don't want to give you 2.4. I want to give you 2.27. 2.37. He's working down here. Okay. 2.3. Deal? Deal. Okay. Shook hands. The deal is done. Darren Hillard is going to be on the squad for another year. That's not too bad. We like. I like him as a bench player. He's not too bad. Hasn't complained much, much, but hopefully Jeremy Grant decides to come back to Cleveland and win another championship. Because we've won back-to-back -back championships. We might win a three-peat this year. I'm not saying we are, but we have a good chance of three-peating this year. So we're 3-2. and two. We're facing the Minnesota Timberwolves here in Cleveland. Let's beat them. And we do 102-75 to 75 final. Kyrie, 29 points, 2 rebounds, 7 assists, 3 steals, 1 block. Uh, DeMar DeRozan, 20 points, 7 rebounds, 5 assists. Uh, ben Simmons, 17 points, 9 rebounds, 3 assists, 1 steal, 3 blocks. LeBron James, 16 points, 7 rebounds, 7 assists, 2 steals. Jason Tatum, 8 points, 6 rebounds, 6 assists, 2 steals. Not too bad of a game. Jeremy Grant, 3 points. Rigo Bear, 3 points, 11 rebounds, 2 blocks. Not too bad of a game from everybody. You beat them, that's pretty good. Minnesota. Carl Anthony Towns, 23 points, 14 rebounds, 2 assists, 3, 4 blocks. Double-double on the day. Der Derek Favors? Yeah. 12 points, 2 rebounds, 3 assists, 1 block on the day. Zach Levine, 6 points. Where's Wiggins? Is he injured already? There's major injuries already in the season. Hope, unless they traded him. I doubt they did. It'd be stupid if they did. Didn't buy doubt it, though. So, Mano Ginobili, he's out 8 to 10 weeks with a broken right ankle, not good. Eric Gordon, 6 to 9 weeks, right knee tendinitis. Markeith Mar Morris, he's traded today in real life to the Wizards, but left hand fracture, 2 to 4 weeks, he's out. Kyle Korver pulled le lower back muscle, 1 to 2 weeks. Jamal Murray bruised left hip, 1 to 2. Derek Rose, day to day, twisted right knee. James Harden bruised right hip. Where's Wiggins? For high right ankle sprain, day to day. So, knew he was injured. And that's probably why they lost. I really don't know. But I'm probably going to end this episode off right here. So make sure to like and subscribe for more Cleveland Cavaliers My GM Mode. And thanks for watching. And I will see you later.